All right, fellas, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at a really exciting brand out of Spain. We're looking at Mirman Mallorca. So for those of you who don't know, Mirman Mallorca is a, is a brand that has been getting a lot of traction in the menswear space in the last few years. And I've seen them doing some great things on Instagram and also on Reddit. I've seen tons of guys posting about them. And so because they're not super popular in America just yet with the mainstream audience, I thought we'd take a look at their boots and also I have a pair of loafers, but today we'll be focusing on the boots and uh, we'll find out by the end of it if it's a brand that is worth checking out if you're getting into the boot game. So firstly, Mirman is designed in Spain. And I think that's something that's really important is that um, they're gonna have some more refined looks than some of the more um, kind of rugged utilitarian designs that you see from like Red Wing, Wolverine and stuff like that, because those are kind of workwear inspired, whereas these are more refined and elegant and they look a lot more expensive than they actually are. So specifically with these boots, I got an email that they were doing some sort of pre-order, um, basically crowdsourcing these, these boots, and they were like $285, I think, something like that, and the boots just looked amazing and a perfect blend of like casual, but also durable, and so I just really fell in love with them. But I think something that really struck me is just that they have these really, really original designs that in this price point, you just don't see necessarily this kind of attention to detail in terms of uh, the way they look and the refined nature of the footwear. Now, secondly, they are made in China. So that's really interesting because usually, like, um, I'm very much an advocate of buying Made in USA, um, or let's say England, where you're, you know that you're getting, let's say, fair wages, and also you're gonna get a really high quality finish um, on your boot and on your footwear. And these are made in China, so it's something that might turn guys off when they first find out. However, they're a great example that something could be really high quality without necessarily being made in America, um, and specifically made in China. So these, although they're made in Shanghai, it says on the tag, they really do a great job of finishing. And if you saw my last video on my Wolverine boots, those mock toes that I did, the 1940 boots, I had a lot of really weird quality control issues, like the threads were coming loose. So these, I don't have any of those issues. And I just think it's a great example that things don't necessarily have to be made in America or uh, the UK to be really high quality, especially uh, in footwear, or Italy, I should say also. It doesn't have to be made in America, England, or Italy to be really high quality. Something that's great about the fact that they make them in China is that it's able, I think, that this is the reason that they're able to hit the price points that they are. Now, the third thing I want to talk about with Mirman is that they have a really detailed and intricate lasting system. So something that I kind of knock on other boots and something that I personally am very, very uh, stringent on is the shape of the boot itself. And some brands, to me, like Thursday, I kind of ripped on them for not having such an inspired last to me because it kind of is just a straight bolt design. Whereas I like to see something that has more shape to it, something that will mold to your foot and fits the natural uh, shape of your foot better. Not every foot is made the same way. And I know for me, like I have a, a lower instep, which means I have like a flatter foot. And so they'll have like a bunch of different last options and shoe options that you can go and find out which last and which shoe is gonna fit you perfectly. And I just think that's something that you, again, you only really see that on high-end brands. And so it's really refreshing to see that in a, a shoe or a boot in this price range. So I believe most of their products are Goodyear welted, if not Blake stitched. And that means that they're gonna be totally craftable and that they're handmade by skilled artisans. And I think that's really, really important. Plus, they're using really high-end leathers from like CF Steed, they're using Shell Cordovan, and the ones I have here are from Horween, which is in America and Chicago. So they really do not cut corners when it comes to actually making the boots and with the components and materials they're using to construct them. Now I will note that I did see on Reddit that some people do uh, complain about quality control, which I think that in general, if you're unless you're going to like a bespoke footwear or a maker or maybe like all in something that's really high end, no pair of boots is perfect. One of them has like loose grain or something's always off and I think that I've kind of gotten used to that and I think I accept it. But I guess it is worth noting that people do have quality control issues and something else, if you saw Cav's video, I think a, a couple years ago now, I saw him do a video uh, on a pair of Mirmans that he got and there was like a quality control issue, like there was like a nail sticking out in the, in the, in the front of the inside of the shoe and the insole and so he had a, a lot of trouble like shipping them back to Spain and it was a whole pain in the butt. But I think now they do have a store in New York City. I really want to go check it out. And you can ship shoes if you get them in America, right? If they come from Spain, you get them in America, you can ship them back to that store in New York City and they will process the return for you. So that's great to know. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into my boots. So this is the service boot. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful silhouette. And it's made, like I said, out of Horween's uh, chrome Excel leather. And this one is natural chrome Excel, so it's got this beautiful golden uh, brown finish to it. And I brought here my Thursday boots to compare because you can see the natural variation. So this one's like much more of a tan and this one has like a darker finish to it. I kind of, 
I think this one's more of like an olive finish to it, but really I just love the leather. I've had these for around six months now, and I just love the way they've aged. I do not go easy in my boots at all. I kick them up a lot, and, and in the bottoms, I even have like crap there stuffed in the bottom of the lug soles. So just love the way they've aged thus far. So just a, a couple things to note, like, I really love how they have this like really interesting, like, it's not really a storm up, but this welt finishing that goes just above the stitch, um, where the sole and the upper is connected. I think that's just a really nice clean look. You can see that there's no loose stitching anywhere. They have this nice piping that goes around the entire collar of the boot. And my favorite thing about the, uh, the, the boot is actually that you have this indentation here. Hopefully you guys can see that. This indentation on the heel, which makes it uh, accommodate for my leg. I always talk about that. And hopefully you guys were sick of that already, but it really does make a huge difference that my heel gets very secure because it kind of curves in there around the Achilles tendon. So there's not that much else to talk about because it's such a simple and great clean design, but the stitch density is great here. Really, really tight stitching. The sole is a UK made commando sole, which is super dense and just really hasn't shown like any sense signs of wear in the six months that I've worn them. The inside is also great. It's calfskin lined, beautifully done. And so I just really, really love the boot. And I was honestly surprised because I w just wasn't sure um, what the fit was going to be like when I got them, how they're going to feel. And they actually looked pretty big when I got them. When I put them on, it's just perfect. And I think that's because of this almond shape that it actually, although it's a little bit long and elegant, which um, is great, like I like that it looks a little bit fancier, is that it accommodates my foot perfectly. And although my toe doesn't go all the, all the way to the end, it still hugs my foot and there's really not much movement going on in there. Of course, it's got those speed hooks that I need, these thin laces for a dressier look. It actually closes up here uh, pretty tightly, which sometimes I think is a bad thing. It means it's like too loose, but actually it actually nailed my foot perfectly. And the insole too is leather, and then underneath that leather is cork. So that's just great to see. It's gonna mold to your foot and just break in over time and get better as you wear them. Aesthetically, I love that I can really dress these up easily. I think you can even wear these with like a, uh, a wool trouser, like something with a crease down the middle, but I love these with like a really slim pair of jeans. I could really wear them any day of the week, but I definitely wouldn't recommend like buying these as a work boot, but I just think it's a great everyday boot for the average guy out there who wants something that's high quality and is gonna last them a long time but looks good and made, made of high quality components. I think it's a really great like entryway boot for someone who's just looking to get into higher end boots and doesn't want to spend a fortune. Let me get those suede loafers. All right, so here is my my loafers. These are this beautiful, I've got the exact color, it's like a chestnut suede, really nice. You can see on the inside. So these I bought in an eight and a half and I think, although these are good, you're welted, I think that this one does not have cork inside. It's got this like uh, leather that's covering foam. But these are also really great, love these, and, and do get a lot of casual wear out of these. Okay guys, so that's really gonna do it. Um, thanks for stopping by. Definitely check out Mirman's website. L comment below like which styles you guys are interested in and which ones you think I should check out. I wanna give a big shout out to Mirman because although, like I said, some people did complain about the customer service, I, was re I reached out to the guy um, on Instagram and he was so nice, he so generously sent these over to me as a gift to check out. He didn't even ask for a review or anything, I just decided to do it on my own because I love the boot so much. So personally, I just think they're great people and would definitely recommend you guys check them out and give them a go. So if you like the, if you like the video, um, as always, subscribe, like the video, comment below, and I'll see you guys later. Yeah, boy.